I'm going to be sharing with you how to edit skin tones. Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy, Oscar Antegi, again with yet another amazing video. Oftentimes, we shoot in spaces where we have a lot of things that are in color. Certain colors tend to reflect onto the skin, making the skin tones look non so natural, non so good. I'm first going to show you how to do it the manual way in Photoshop. Then after I'm going to show you how you can do it in one click. However, the one click version is going to require some investment from your side. And if you own a studio and do a lot of people photography, this is a tool that you would love to have in your arsenal because it is going to help you with matching skin tones and having better skin tones in your pictures. Your pictures will always come out very, very amazing in print. It is a tool worth having. But for those of you who want to save money and you have the time on your hands, I'm going to show you how to do it the manual way. Ready? Let's dive into this. Basically, we are going to create these different curves adjustment layers. One adjustment layer is going to help us reduce the cyan. The other one is going to help us reduce the reds. And the other one is going to help us reduce the magentas and all that. You don't have to worry. I'm going to create an action for you so that you can download all these particular curves adjustment layers so that you don't have to redo them again. Yeah, let me first undo this. Let's first understand something before we get into this particular thing. And I'm going to press Ctrl B. On my keyboard now this is the spectrum you have to understand first before everything else you have to look at what color is opposite the other so if the picture has a lot of red in order for you to reduce the red you have to add in more magenta yeah and if of course the picture has more green in the skin tones you have to add more magenta colors that are opposite one another are the colors we're going to use to fight these are the colors okay so this is the only thing you have to master basically one one side has CMY and the other one has RGB. R is opposite of C. Green is opposite of magenta. Blue is opposite of yellow. So these colors are going to fight one another when we are doing matching these skin tones and making the skin tones better. Because when you look at this image right now, it has these particular parts that are, you know, bit darkened. Then we have also these zones. Then when you look at this, we have a magenta here. Then we have these yellows. Of course, this magenta is part of the makeup, but I'm going to use it to show you how this technique works. Yeah, We're going to come here, create, and we're going to do to get the red. And in order for us to reduce the greens in these pictures, like these particular greens, we have to pump up the red. So what we're going to do, we're going to rename this reduce. The color that is opposite red is cyan. So we add in more that, control I. So the next curve adjustment layer we're going to do is still going to be curves. We come back to the red zone. Now, in order for us to cap down the red, definitely we go towards the cyan side. Yeah, and what we're going to do, we're going to rename this reduce reds because it is that what is opposite red, like that, control I. So the next curve adjustment layer we're going to do, we're now going to get into green. And in order for us to reduce the, the magentas, we pump up the greens. And then we're going to call this reduce magenta. Okay, and we are going to press Ctrl I to invert it. So we're going to still come back and create another curves adjustment layer. And we're going to come back to the greens and then we're going to pump it down. And this is going to help us reduce the greens. Yeah. Then we're going to press Ctrl or Command I to invert. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to still come here, create another curves adjustment layer. And then we get into the blues right here. And then we pump up the blues. Now, this is also going to help us reduce yellows. Okay. You did I right here like that. Command I to invert. Then we are also going to do another curves. This is the last one. And we're going to come still into the blues and pull it down again. Now, this is going to help us reduce blues okay command i to convert to invert this now we're going to put all of these in a group yeah just like this and i'm going to rename this skin tones with curves yeah that is what i've renamed it so what are we going to do right now now we are going to zoom in this particular image and begin 
working on this image but before i get into the details the nitty-gritty of editing this image let me show you how this thing works now when you look at this particular part of the eye this is part of the picture i don't want to remove this in a, in a way but i'm only doing it for the sake of your understanding now when you look at this particular image here it has a bit of magenta so how do we do reduce the magenta you come on to here where we have reduce magenta and then you get your brush tool now i'm just going to leave it at 100 for the sake of this tutorial and yeah i'm going to put press caps lock and then i'm just going to come and paint see how what happens the magenta actually is reduced to zero but let's do it the way i would do it in a usual picture i'll put this at two yeah the flow at two and leave the opacity at uh, 100 then i'll come to the reduced magenta and i just paint slowly over like this until the magenta is somehow matched to the skin tones now do you see how this part has matched the colors of this let me show you the before and after look at that that's the before and that's the after that's the before that's the after now that is the how this particular system works now i don't want to lose out on the magenta yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come bring back the opacity here and paint again with black just to bring that back but now you get the point of how it works let me show you how it would work maybe on uh, on this particular yellow zone so how do we reduce the yellows of course i'm going to come here on the reduce yellows i don't know because is it because i use capital letters uh -huh. so I'll come click on to the reduce yellows and i'll still come and put this at two yeah because i don't want the effects to be so intense i want to do this slowly if i want to reduce the yellows here definitely i'll come Make sure white is on top here and i'll come click on to the reduce yellows and i'll just come and paint over here like this now do you see how this works guys i just come and just paint over like this same applies to this side i will do the same over here and if this is the best way of even making makeup nude in case you want to make a particular part of the makeup node if you're a makeup artist who edits your own pictures this is a very great video for you you can actually tone down on the makeup using this technique look at this that's the before that's the after guys that is how this works but i don't want to remove this because this is all part of the makeup yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come and bring this back and we begin doing the actual retouching here of what we will do so when you look at this particular part we have a bit of yellows and we want to reduce the yellow so i'm just going to get this i put back this to two and then i'm just going to come and paint over slowly i just add on layers on layers because i want to make to do a build up that is slow i don't want to get it overly you know just come and all oh, this i just come and also you know just turn down the yellow there is also this particular shades of yellow around here also around this particular zone i just come and balance out these colors basically like even around here the nose seems to be yellowing and the like okay and when you look at this basically you're having this particular activity going on so the next thing i'm going to do i'm now going to come in to we need to reduce this cyan do you see this like we have a bit of cyan here this blackish now usually this, this in 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 a so we come and reduce the cyan by clicking here i get my brush tool i reduce it here and i just come and paint over here over the edge like this slowly and i build it up you see how that works i also come on over this side and also do the same i paint over like that like that so look at this that's the before that's the after you see how this works so you just come in building this now there is a bit of magenta over the nose so i'll come here to the reduce magenta and still i'll come and just paint over like that i also come around that area i paint over to reduce the magenta okay so that i have it a bit matched so also here we have a bit of magenta too much magenta here so i'll still come and do the same into the neck area and reduce the magenta and when you look at it i would love also to come here and uh, reduce that bit of sign when everywhere you see that there is a bit dark dark you make sure you come and patch onto the reduced sand bead 
and just paint over there because that that is what causes those particular parts to be pale to appear pale like somebody doesn't have blood in their skin so you just come and reduce the sun every time you see that in an image yeah like that guys isn't this amazing that how what you can do with this particular thing i used to use this particular technique on high-end portraits you don't have to do this on every portrait of course people who give you less money you don't need i'm not saying okay it depends on your standard but certain pictures wouldn't really require this but i usually do this for high-end commercial shoots billboard pictures and uh pictures beauty pictures product pictures that are going to go on billboard and in maybe magazines this is when i use these particular techniques and for those high-end paying clients otherwise those clients who pay less usually give them simple basic editing but i'm giving you this this particular thing for people who want you know that high-end tool but now i do it in all my pictures because i have an ai tool that can do this as as a whole without me having to go into the nitty-gritty now basically that's how you do it the manual way but look at this that's the before that's the after now what if there was a way you could do this whole system here using ai just in two simple clicks or one click let me show you how okay now i'm going to remove that's the before that's the after of how we do it the manual way now let me show you how to do this using one single click of course it's going to require a little bit of investment on your side so let's do this i'm just going to create to come here over this particular tool and i'm going to come here into filter and i'm going to say retouch for me and i'm going to say skin tone look at this guys ai is going to make its auto selection the same like this and what i'm going to do the amazing thing about this particular plugin is that it gives you a soft light layer in order for you to edit certain parts that you're not satisfied with and the fact that this particular plugin works with any kind of skin tone i'm super amazed you know most of the plugins that they release don't work so well with dark skin but this particular one i'm very very surprised that it works so well with dark skin with people of color i mean it is super super inclusive that is an advantage that i saw about this so i'm going to come here and say apply guys look at this this is how it works you remember how we are doing it in these tonal curves just coming here and painting over all these particular things now ai automatically does this it even goes ahead and does the same effect on to the ears i barely don't even think about editing ears but this thing goes into even color correcting the ears because remember we have makeup on the face but usually they forget putting makeup and foundation onto this now you remember how we also reduce the magentas onto these particular edges now that's how amazing ai is so what we're going to do is click onto this and then we rename it as soft light now look at this that's the before that's the after before and after now ai has done it actually way better even in a more precise way you know i'm not saying you can't do it more precise in the manual way but it would take you hours and hours but you've done this with ai in just a few minutes now i don't want i didn't want it to take away this makeup done by the makeup artist so i'm just going to come here and click a layer mask just right next to that or soft light layer and i'm just going to get my brush tool make sure black is on top i will increase the flow to 100 right here and then i'm just going to paint back the makeup done by the makeup artist and then guys there you have it that is how you use ai to edit skin tones now if you want to get a 20 percent off discount on this plugin you click the first link in the description below and of course when you buy through my link i get a simple commission that helps me give you free content and run this channel smoothly guys this thing is worth all the investment i've used many ai tools but this ai tool in particular is very very inclusive